citizens and the general public really needs to take in a lot of the information being offered about this because this is a, a big issue, a scary issue, but there's solutions, particularly when concerned citizens use their voices to hold companies accountable, hold regulators accountable, demand better research, demand continued research. I think don't, don't be overwhelmed by the amount of information. There's solutions there if you, if you press forward to, to really tackle this, this particular problem. I think it's a huge enough problem and a stark enough problem that if the, the, the consequences of not doing something are, are scarier than looking this in the face and, and just giving it your best effort to try to wrap your head around this and ask questions, for sure. You look at this huge problem and it's a global problem and you feel like you can't do much about it, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I can choose to purchase products that haven't been made with fluoropolymers. I can choose to buy regular cookware, not non-stick stuff. I feel like those are the small day-to-day -day choices that you can make to reduce your exposure. You, picking out textiles for your home, there's information about your carpets and materials to make sure you're not getting the stain resistant stuff. Don't, don't spray your shoes with Scotchgard. You know, I, know my, I think that's something my dad used to do is spray his shoes with Scotchgard to make sure they were waterproof. Stuff like that adds up to your individual exposure. I think I also make it a point to tell everyone about this, even though maybe it's the most depressing topic at a party. There's never an opportunity not to share information about, hey, that food packaging is full of PFAS. Why don't we make our popcorn on the stove instead of heating up a popcorn bag? That, a line like that, that person is going to think about that for, for days and then probably ask me follow-up questions. And then they're aware, okay, this chemical is in my day-to-day -day environment and I can get less of it by doing X, Y, or Z. So I guess that's how I, I tackle it and I, I just try to work, work harder and, and learn, learn more about this to, to share the information at large, I guess.